Hi, I'm Amy. I'm the head of design at Cedar. My program focuses on user research and product design. At Cedar Human Centered Design means that we're actually talking to patients. So we want to make sure that we're actually listening to what patients say and their feedback because there's a different depth to the work when we do that versus just kind of assuming that we know what patients do. So kind of throughout the life cycle of design at Cedar, we're always focused on patients and making sure they're core to our decision making. COVID-19 was really hard for people. They were at home and they had to kind of realign their life in a lot of way and, and a lot of their normal tasks. Digital products actually boomed. I think digital adoption is usually really hard. And if anything, COVID-19 pushed people into doing more things online in digital ways than they, they probably had before. Consumer expectations have changed. People do their grocery shopping online. People check out their new favorite restaurants. It's really important to have a digital first patient strategy to meet patients where they are. So one of the things about patient engagement is to have a great strategy, you actually have to understand what patients need to engage. So to do that, you need to be talking to them and understanding what their pain points are, what their use cases are, and folding that into the actual user experience that you ship your product with. One of the best parts of my job is I get to talk to a lot of patients and understand what their needs are. And it's clear that patient portals have helped them and that now they actually have a digital touch point. I think where they've fallen short from what I hear from users is there's too many logins, memory of passwords, and they're not really built for workflows. They're not really built to think about what is the experience or what is the resolution path or what does someone need to do? Because they're kind of just a toolbox of tools. So what patients are really seeking, especially when they think about consumer experiences, is they want workflows. They want guided experiences. And that's where great product design comes in, about really understanding what users' needs are and guiding them on a path to, to get to that answer. So when we talk to patients, oftentimes they're nervous about paying bills online in general because there's so many scams out there. So at Cedar, we definitely wanna make sure that we're building trust with the patient. One of the best ways to do that is to have an end-to-end -end experience. So making sure that you have all of the touch points from that first check-in, which is your first impression, to actually payment, that builds trust. So it's really important to have a great digital experience that's focused on the user every moment along there. Healthcare has done a great job to start personalizing the experiences. To date, a lot of the focus has been on channel. So does someone like a text message versus an email? I think that's a great starting point. I think there's a lot more to do. So if you really think about users and focusing on user research and the user experience, to really get to that consumer grade point of view where we understand what users need, we need to focus on the right message at the right time and the right user. And that's really where user research comes in. It's saying as a user, I have unique needs, I need a payment plan, I just had a scary diagnosis, and we're here to help you. Um, and that's really what I think personalization can be. The best technology has three components. It's, it's packed with empathy, because it's human-centered, and so that means that you're listening to your users and you know what they need. It's also mobile first, knowing that that's the touch point that most users are going to be on, so optimizing for that experience. And it's accessible and inclusive, meaning that you're designing for a wide range of experiences and that everyone can use your technology. I think these three things you'll see in most consumer-grade technology, and that's great and really important. I think with healthcare, it's even more important. This is critical. Paying your bills is difficult. Getting um, yourself healthy is difficult. So making sure that those three components are baked into your technology solution is really crucial.